What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing DMOP iPhone Manager. Now yes, this is only available for those who have an iOS device, and it does also support the latest iOS 12. Now, what is this software? Well, it's in the name, it is an iPhone manager, meaning you can control your device entirely from this software. Now, I don't mean actually using the device, I mean controlling the data within the device. So as you can see, there is photo transfer, any photos, videos you may have on your phone, say you went on vacation, a great way to take them off very quickly and very simply would be using this program right here. You then have music manager, pretty self-explanatory. If you want to remove or add music, then you would do it right from here. Videos, if you download any movies, uh, YouTube videos, somewhere, somehow, you want to put them onto your iPhone, there you go, directly from here. And also the same place where you will be removing it from as well. And then of course, just like iTunes, you can back up your device. And I do recommend you do this every time you plug in your iPhone or iDevice to your iPhone. Uh, computer simply because anything can go wrong with a phone so you drop it smashed it all your data is lost as long as it's backed up you're safe now a really great thing here you can see at the bottom left is data security I will be getting more into that later on in the video however we then also get contact podcast book voice app SMS calendar bookmark and flash drive so heading back to data security so what can you do from here well you can encrypt or decrypt files within your iPhone. Now, what that means, if there is photos, videos within your phone and you want to add a password on it, probably a great way for parents to control what uh, your kids can see on your device. This is the way right here. You can add a password onto it and then they won't be able to see it. Now you can also see there the note, it does say remember the password for the encryption. If the password is lost, the encrypted file will not be decrypted. This password is also used for exporting encryption. So very important you remember that. So I'm going to be testing this out right now. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my iPhone. And for those wondering, I will be using an iPhone 6S Plus, which is a 32 gigabyte. It's currently on iOS 11.4.1. So I have just plugged the device in. You can see straight away it has been picked up by the um, software itself, it even beat the computer. So now we should be able to see, you can see our devices here. We can access our files within the device. Now files is the actual files app that comes with iOS. So if I click that, you can see there are no files simply because I have no files on that files app. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, moving across to data security. So from here, we can add files, add a folder. I'm gonna add a folder. So for this, I'm adding a folder. I've just been on vacation and I got some beast photos of quad bikes. For those that aren't following my Instagram yet, definitely go follow it. And I've just added all that folder into here very quickly, you can see. And I'm gonna select encrypts now. So it's gone through all the files. They are now all encrypted. And as you can see, this is now what it looks like. So DMOB uh, is the file, uh, file title now. So you can see DMOB file, and this is how it will look. Then of course, you can go ahead and decrypt them directly using this software as well. But here we go, you can see under the photo transfer, uh, we can access my entire camera roll. And then we also have here to the side is the albums within the phone already. You can also press the plus button, you can create a new album directly on here. Then if you have any photos within your uh, computer, you can come here and just add them straight on. And right here, some badass quad pictures, like I said. So I'll just go ahead and add this one on. You can see it's been added here. All you need to do then is press sync. And this is now synchronizing all the data. And it's also going to put this photo on a new album onto my phone. So just like that, it's done. You can see it does say successful. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually record my phone. So then you can see that it does work. So. I am just about starting the recording now. Okay, so the phone's now recording. I'm gonna head over to photos. And what I'm going to do is look for the new album it mentioned. There you go, you can see at the bottom right, it does say new album, and it also says one from my computer. And I'm gonna click on that. As you can see, there is the badass photo on my quad bike. Like I said, make sure to follow me on Instagram.
But there you go, there is proof that it does work and it's very quick, very simple, very basic to use. And now let's head on to some more information about this program. So it is available for Windows as well as Mac. And if you scroll down, you can see there is a bunch more information on the program itself and also what else you can do within the program and also some reviews so you can see how easy it is to use. So like I mentioned, it is not free. You can try it for free though, which I do recommend at least trying it. Then you can select buy now. So now in my opinion, prices are very, very fair uh, on this. So you can see um, a lifetime price for two PCs is $47.95, which is currently on sale from $67.95. If you want a one year license, maybe I don't see a point really to be honest, I don't see a point in you getting a one year license. If you want it, you might as well just get a lifetime license. Um, and then you can also have a family license. So this is if you have more than two PCs, you can see for three PCs, you can get a lifetime one for sixty nine dollars and ninety five cents. And at the bottom there, you can see uh, what is supported within the purchase. And also it is a 30 day money back guaranteed. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and like I said, definitely do give this a try if you do have an iOS device. I actually use this every day now instead of iTunes. The reason for that is because I like the UI and in my opinion, it's much more easier to manage the data within my phone. And like I mentioned, be sure to follow me on Instagram, also follow me on Twitter and also make sure to follow me on Snapchat. I'll see you in the next video.